we're back on the roof. So the thermostat died apparently on Monday. So they changed the thermostat and now there's no power. It's saying there's no power to see. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe they popped the fuse and that the old one probably used batteries and the C was never connected on this side. So we'll see, we'll see if I'm right. So we're gonna open it up, see what's going on. So here we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Oh, hello. Okay, so it looks like this is a heat pump with electric strips. And I see a melted wire. So you can see that. Look at that right there. That explains why we have an entire freaking sub panel just for this unit. Okay, but it's saying that the thermostat's no good. So, let's see here. We'll check that fuse. Right, so the fuse is okay. Uh, we're just gonna check for high voltage. I got nothing. So we gotta see what's going on with that. Okay, so we're gonna see if we got voltage going into this box, which, no. So we gotta go find the breaker. Okay, so here's here's the conduit that feeds that. It's plugged into this box and this is off. Yeah, see? So I don't know why that's off, but let's try to turn it on to that does anything. Okay, so now we got that breaker on. Let's see if we got power going to this box. All right, looking good. You just gotta love it when you just have to flip a switch. Uh, let's see if we're getting power to this unit. Yep. All right, so let's go check that thermostat. Okay, so I found this wire here, so I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna put a new end on this and cut off all this damaged melted wire. And then, uh, you know, since I'm here and I saw it, so, cause eventually it's gonna break off. So I know we're here to uh, turn the power on, but one thing you wanna do is you always wanna check the whole unit, check out these filters. Ugh. Ugh. That is plugged. Is there a date on it? No date. Oh, of course, it's a weird size, so I probably don't have one. Oh man, look at this coil. So we got an 1824 and a 14 by 24. Oh boy. Well, let's see. Hopefully, we have those because those, yeah, that that that's not going to run with those. So one of the things, uh, what does he say all the time uh, from HVACR videos, Chris? Uh, big picture diagnostic, or, di or big picture diagnostic or diagnosis. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, point is, is if you just come out here and you have to flip a switch, check the rest of the unit because you're probably going to find other problems. I already felt, found a wire that's melting and plugged up filters. And that coil could probably use a cleaning, but I'm sure they're not going to want to do it. I'm gonna see if I can uh, source up some of these filters and then we're gonna go ahead and fix that wire and then we'll check all the run caps and all that just to make sure everything else is good because I'm guessing this thing hasn't been serviced ever. Alrighty, so we got our new end put on there, brand new. That's our old one right there. So it's probably still okay for a while, but you know, I'm here, why not? And yes, it's snowing. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that back in I'm um, just waiting for filters, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and check the run cap in there just to make sure everything else is good, so we don't have any surprises. And I think there's probably another run. Oh, the dual is probably in here, so we'll check all that out. So, yeah. So upon further inspection after we fix that wire, it looks like we got some melted relays too. So that one right there is pretty melted. This one's terrible. Uh, that one over there seems to be okay. But yeah, so we're gonna have to get new relays for that. So I'll talk to them about that. Um, we'll probably just disable the secondary heat. Um, yeah, we'll just disable the secondary heat. That way it just uh, runs in heat pump mode. But yeah, that could explain why the uh, 
breaker was shut off. All right, so we're back at uh, this unit. We got our relays, so we're gonna go ahead and replace those and repair the wiring. And then we'll go ahead and uh, power this thing up and see what happens, so here we go. All right, so I got the first one out. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad. Um, and then we're gonna have to fix those ends because they're pretty melted. So yeah, so one down, one more to go. I might just replace that third one just, just in case. Just to be safe but yeah all right so we got our new relays all in there and all the damaged ends have been replaced uh so we're just gonna do a quick inspection just to make sure i didn't miss any melted wires but it looks like we got it all there's that one that one okay yeah everything looks good so we're gonna go ahead and power this up and cycle it and see what happens okay so we are cycling uh the heat pump just make sure the heat pump works uh, and then we'll cycle the electric strips. So I'm um, going R to Y. Um, the blower turned on, but I got no compressor, no condenser fan motor. Now it might be a delay. Unfortunately, this circuit board has no light on it, so I have no idea what it's doing. So we'll give it a good, uh, good five minutes, see if it comes on. And uh, if it doesn't, well, then we'll check other things. Okay, so she came on. Looks like it had a three minute delay. Uh, so that's cool. So a quick, easy way to see if your heat pumps work and feel the air coming out. It should be cold. Yep, it's cold. So I think our heat pump is running. So I just want to make sure everything works. We'll probably run it in cool. So when you're running this in cool, the air coming out here should be a little bit warmer than your ambient. So, but yeah, so far so good. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the strips and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, blow up in my face so here we go okay so we're cycling our electric heat so let's see if we got the amperage going on there okay so that one's working so let's see that's the bottom one this is the middle one here we got yep that one's on okay and then we need our top one cool so they're all running so we have electric strip, nothing has melted or caught fire or blown up, so, so far so good. Yeah, so all because the thermostat went blank. That's why we got called out here originally, is oh, the thermostat went out. I got here, found out that somebody turned the main breaker off, uh, and then uh, just, you know, doing my due diligence, I checked the unit, found a bunch of melted stuff, found some nasty filters, which we got those changed, so we got brand new filters. I checked the contactor, checked the run cap, uh, didn't find anything else wrong with it, so we came back, replaced all the relays, fixed all the wiring, and now it's going good. So, you know, just because you find an easy fix, make sure you just check the whole unit, because this turned into a pretty good repair. So anyway, hopefully this helps. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.